I wish to be free from chains of corporations, I am sick of pretending that to be happy, I need a hot body, superhuman strength, work I am proud of, a lot of money, a supporting partner, a super cute child, and so much more, and if I lack in even one of those areas, I am a loser, who deserves to be ridiculed. Because what is the point of being super rich, if bit by bit you lose your humanity, until nothing is left, or having a very attractive, smart, supporting partner, if you constantly feel insecure, due to your own shortcomings, and with it, you are non-stop stressed out, from the possibility of being dumped, in reality, happiness does not come as much from what you have, as how much you appreciate things. So, who ultimately convinced people that just being rich, super attractive and so on, will make them happy? Those, who will benefit from the efforts of others to achieve it, such as financial gurus, cosmetic companies, and manufacturers of overpriced grown-up toys. Those, who exploited human biases, such as the desire to fit in, to sell things we do not need. That is why they are so scared of the truth, that by changing your mindset, you will be free from their brainwashing. Just think about it, would Rolex watches be so expensive, if they were perceived as a sign of mental insecurity, and cyberpunk's mega corporations like Arasaka, reflect this reality, and characters like David reveal the true terror of Night City, even if you think that you are going against the system, like not graduating from school to work a desk job in Arasaka, but instead joining a gang, ultimately changing one collar for another. David still worked for a man, who bowed down to Arasaka, and even if David just committed crimes, he would still benefit the system, especially with the violent ones, because the more crime, the more scared people become, the more people buy platinum health insurance, weapons, upgrades and so on to protect themselves. Night City's reach is so terrifyingly long, that you must go to the moon, to escape it, similarly to Google's reach, including videos asking to like and sub. But what if instead, those people identified the underlying reason for their desire, and chose to use an innerly oriented solution, for example, by buying luxury products, people wish for the respect of others, so it is proof for themselves of their own value, ultimately giving up permission to respect, love themselves. Do you see the trick the companies use in this instance? Basically, they make others believe that you cannot love yourself, if you do not have our product. By being aware of the trick, you can form a much better belief, such as there is needed no reason, to love yourself, such as be kind, cheer up and so on yourself and self-talk. Do you see, how this your self-contained solution, has the potential to be outside anybody else's system. Moreover, by finding evidence for the new belief and against the toxic, over and over again, you will strengthen a better mindset, such as contradictory to the gut feeling, to have a huge outcome. You do not need a huge cause, for example, according to the Pato principle, 20% of work is responsible for 80% of the outcome, not to mention the domino effect, where a small action can snowball into a huge consequence. That is why daily cognitive behavioral therapy is so useful, that is, firstly, identifying the toxic belief, secondly, arguing the belief with facts and logic, thirdly, replacing the toxic belief with a much more healthy belief, a few months, daily doing a few minutes long exercise, can do wonders, it reminds your, who took some practice to make even one decent dish, all those times damaging fingers, failing again and again, but you got a little bit better each time, 
such as not cutting in so fine pieces or destroying a cutting board, and for her the result was absolutely worth it, so I am looking forward to you sharing your triumphs, such as in the comment section right, about other nasty tricks of companies, and if possible, how to avoid them, to even more help you to become a true master of decision making, augment your mind by considering this, your actions are heavily influenced by the subconscious running mental calculations, predicting if something is worth doing, that is why, by looking at brain activity while making a decision, researchers could predict what choice people would make before they themselves were even aware of having made a decision. Because our unconscious has evolved to process most of the data, and to make decisions for us, according to guidelines and rules of thumb, that are in our best interest most of the time. Sadly, the calculations can be very imprecise, because real-world problems are often complicated. It's tough to think objectively about all the variables, and often enough we just don't know what the odds of different outcomes are, so our brains are naturally wired to reduce that complexity, by using mental shortcuts called heuristics, such as representativeness, the tendency to ignore statistics and focus instead on stereotypes, anchoring is people's tendency to stay close to a starting point, when making an estimate, even when they know that the starting point could be way off the mark, availability, people also estimate the likelihood of an event based on the ease, with which it comes to mind, it also has biases towards short term, loss aversion and so on, so to make better decisions, you must identify your assumptions, and closely re-inspect them, by the way, if you wish to dive even deeper in this, I have useful resources in the description, also by re-inspecting what you have, you might become pleasantly surprised, because like Yuri getting used to yours cooking, we also get used to stimulus, so even amazing things, can start to feel like nothing special creating massive blind zones, but the solution is to re-appreciate things by changing perspective, for example, I can program games for 4 years, so by now novelty should wear down, wrong, to be excited about the process, I remember my amazement, when I just started to do it, when I program games, I am a god of my virtual world, capable of changing laws of physics, and even creating intelligent creatures, overpowered eyes Kai protagonists have nothing on me, that is also why Yor is much happier cooking well, than protecting her country, because defeating bad guys is just an average Monday for her, due to doing it for more than 10 years, while making her new family happy is something new although she also has a habit to go to the park, and watching people she is helping, to reignite appreciation for her secret work, so how to find your cooking moment, despite huge amount of choices, start with having a mindset towards a goal, instead of just avoiding mistakes, or thinking about your available options. I suggest core value centric decision making, for instance, in card games, there is a winning image, and according to it, you add needed cards to your deck, so even if you have a great card, but it does not support the image, it must not be included, using the previous self love example, because you love yourself, you must take good care of yourself, of course, learn from David's mistakes and self-love, avoiding infringing on other people's rights, because extremes like narcissism are never good, for example, eat healthy, because you wish only the best for your body, eat oatmeal instead of junk food, so your body gets properly energized, and in return, the body will thank by letting you easy to move and think, 
or if it is a party, then because you do not wish to cause pain to your body, you do not use alcohol, or at least avoid consuming it extensively. Moreover, the more you will do acts like these, the easier it will become to reprogram yourself by using cognitive behavioral therapy. Please, in the comment section write, what do you do to self-love? Why? If you wish even better to implement these advices, avoid Anya's fate, then I have a great video for you.